Hi again. Uh, in ER mapper, if you want to know a spectral signature of any pixel uh, inside the image, uh, you should uh, go to cell values profile. So we have a function uh, inside the ER mapper named cell values profile. It uh, let you knowing the spectral signature of each pixel. So go to view and select cell values profile. Okay, or clicking on uh, the image or uh, inside the window and selecting cell values profile. It's the same thing. Actually, cell values profile composing of uh, three sections. Each section, uh, you know, uh, have its area. And uh, the first one is signature. And the th uh, third, uh, sorry, second one is neighbors. And the third one is values. And you can select and deselect any uh, section or appearing, disappearing any uh, section just by uh, clicking on these check boxes. Okay. So, and also uh, you can increase or decrease the uh, size of this section by just clicking on this white rectangle and dragging it down. Okay. Or uh, dragging it up. So, this is for a signature and this is for neighbors and the last one is for values so uh, uh, let's uh, zoom in to an area for example right here okay so uh, uh, if you know uh, or want to know uh, uh, a curve or a spectral signature of any pixel, you should turn uh, up your mouse to, to pointer, okay, uh, or pointer right here on standard toolbar or right clicking, selecting pointer. Okay, so select any pixel which you want to know the cell values profile of it. Okay. So by clicking on any pixel, you see the curve or the, um, you know, the shape of the spectral signature uh, will be changing. Okay. So this is the, uh, the first one is signature, signature of that pixel or of the selected pixel. Okay. In this, uh, in this uh, curve or in this signature, we have two, of course, uh, two axes Y and x in y uh, we have uh, dn values or digital number or uh, or the values of this pixel of course it's starting from a uh, zero and ending uh, uh, at uh, 255 uh, of course in uh, eight bit uh, uh, radiometric uh, resolution okay and in the y-axis, or sorry, in x-axis, we have a number of bands. So this is for band 1, band 2, band 3, band 4, and for all 7 bands. Because the opponent image is for a Landsat thematic mapper. So in Landsat thematic mapper, we have 7 bands. These uh, are 7 bands. Okay? In y, uh, or sorry, in x-axis, and in y-axis, we have... Uh, uh, as we said before, we have DN or digital numbers or digital values. Okay, so uh, when you're clicking on any uh, pixel, the uh, uh, reflection of the uh, V curve will be uh, changing. Okay, in the Second section we have uh, neighbors. Actually, neighbors is a selected, selected uh, pixel with the pixels around it. For example, we have array right here, array of nine uh, values or nine numbers, uh, each number representing the uh, pixels around the selected one. For example, I'll select this one. Uh, the value of this one is <clears throat> sorry, uh, 109, and the pixels around it is just like that, 
for example, 138, 136, and so on. Uh, if I click on this one, on the pixels above the selected pixel, you see uh, we have uh, 136 in the center and the others surrounding it, and so on. So it's the center value is for selected pixel, and the others is the <coughs> Uh, sorry, for pixels surrounding it, surrounding the selected one. Of course, these values are just for band one. Okay, you can change it. For example, for band one and for selected pixel, we have 109 is uh, just right there. And if I change the uh, band to band two, uh, it will change. Uh, the selected uh, uh, values or the selected pixel value and uh, other surrounding pixel to uh, 42 just uh, right here and so on for the other bands so the showing uh, values is just for one band you can change it okay so in the uh, last section or the third uh, section in the cell values profile we have values a section named with values actually value, values is the uh, values of all uh, bands uh, in the selected pixel if I select this one or this one this is the values of the selected pixel of course of all bands with their uh, you know uh, wavelength is uh, and their values okay so this is the uh, cell value profile and you can know any uh, reflection uh, of any bands uh, in any pixel okay uh, if I want to uh, show more than a spectral signature uh, at the same time I just select for example I select this one and I want to another spectral signature I uh, just should to select another color right here another color for example red and choose the other pixel I choose another color for another signature and another color for another signature and another color and so on for the other uh, signature so uh, we have more than one spectral signature for more than one pixels okay and if you want to remove these uh, signatures you should just selecting at the same color for example I want to remove the red one I just click on the red one uh, again okay so the red one was removed and so on for the other colors green and then uh, sorry. so you can uh, show more than one uh, spectral signature by just uh, selecting a different color and also deleting uh, any uh, spectral signature uh, by clicking on the same color and also in the cell bars profile i have another function it's uh, average uh, basically uh, the average was not selected uh, just like that and if i selecting the average and uh, selecting any color for example uh, and cl click on this pixel and this one and this one and this one so I selected four pixels and select and, and uh, check the average what that mean uh, actually it means the curve which shown in the signature uh, section is the average uh, spectral signature for all selected pixels okay so it uh, show us the average reflectance or the average spectral signature of all selected uh, pixels 
And if I want you to show more than uh, average uh, spectral signature, I just select another uh, different color. And also, I want to sh let uh, me uh, show uh, the average of the other pixels. Selecting this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So, we have two uh, average of the spectral signature. The first one representing the four pixels, and the second one also representing the four pixels uh, for, uh, behind them. Okay? So, this is the average, and also you can be moving the uh, uh, spectral signature just uh, like before uh, clicking on the same color. And if you notice, the average uh, spectral signature have the uh, thickness more than the uh, single uh, spectral signature. So, or you also can remove the drawing uh, spectral signature just by clicking on the same color. So, this is all about the uh, cell values profile for uh, in the ER manner.